guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and you guys wanted this on the poll, so I'm going to be trying to bring these to you as many times in a row as possible, but we're going to be doing basically a commentary on how to not die in Stories of Order Public in PvP. Guys, this is something that I think a lot of people, for some reason, think is super scary and super hard. Um, it's not. Um, it was back in the day, uh, but it no longer is that way. Uh, so... I'm here on my sorcerer. For any of you who are new to the channel, I've been maining Sork for a couple years now. I've mained all of the classes over the last 10 years, and uh, I really like the sorcerer. Um, Shadow is good, um, operative and merc as well. Um, never was great at any of the others. I mean, Sentinel, I think I was, I was pretty decent at. Um, but we are going to talk about how to essentially survive in PvP. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. I do not have uh, good gear. I've been really slow in my gearing just because I've been waiting for some other content to drop. So as you can see down here in the bottom uh, right that my item rating is 317. I don't have a lot of gear. I'm still taking a ton uh, ton of time just you know to level. Um, I don't have a stim equipped, which is bad. Always have a stim on you. I don't even have one of the good ones. These are old, but you always want to have a stim. Uh, it's just going to help you that much more in, you know, being able to survive. And we're playing ranged. So this is something that I made a, a guide on. So if you want to see it, uh, I'll put a link to it down below. But there will be a card up as well linking to it. So you guys can check it out after this video. But I pretty much go over ranged positioning and how it helps you so much to stay alive while putting out so much more damage. So... Um, right now, I'll be going through it step by step since this is live. Um, we'll, we'll probably do the whole game, go as long as it takes, and uh, show you guys exactly how 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 good it is to you know to stay alive. So, what, what I'm first gonna do is find a good place for the phase walk. Now, this is Yavin, so there's not as many good places, but another Sork you see just place their phase walk here. So we're gonna do the same. Gonna put it in the back a little bit. Make sure that we know exactly what's out here in mid. And we are just going to stay alone right back here and really not move. Like This is the key to being a successful ranged PvP player in Star Wars The Old Republic. It's knowing exactly what you're doing. I missed my proc on Crushing Darkness, but this tells you exactly what you need to do to essentially never die. There's no reason to, especially when people aren't even focusing you. Like, notice how I'm always pretty far back. I can go back, actually, even further, because my range is, like, 30 meters, 35 in some instances, and I never really have to have to die. Now, I, I see that there's a guy using abilities behind me, so we have another sorcerer. This is a basically a ranged, um, the ranged battle. Notice his sorcerer. Look at what he's doing. He's going into the fight. Like, he's making himself pretty exposed. He's coming out a little bit now because he's taking damage, but he doesn't know that he is being attacked by me. At least, I don't think so, because he was, you know, running towards me. But he bubbled right here. Um, I don't have Whirlwind equipped in this build, so what we'll just do is follow him, see if he runs a little bit. I'm not really interested in killing him that much. I want to go back and make sure that we can help the team out. So just leave him be, see if he comes back. He wasn't, he didn't seem to be too hard to, to take down. So we'll just, you know, take a little watch, but we got two people. Haven't used my force storm in a minute. Um, plenty of nice AOE damage. See if I can keep him away. Uh, that should keep him busy long enough to keep him. Oh no, not even, not even. Wow. Okay. A little desync there. Might be, might be. Okay. So we're currently winning, which is fine. But guys, this is pretty much like this is pretty much it. Like as a as a seasoned PvP or I know how to do this, but like if you're new, and this this goes to any range class. If you're playing gunslinger, you know it applies, sniper, you know, all of this stuff. Uh, commando, mercenary, like like all of those things apply to to this. So I see that we still have some people uh, here in mid. Um, deciding to make a, a, f a fun show of it, so we'll just hang out here in mid and provide support for everyone else, but this should be a relatively easy takedown. Um, nothing nothing crazy going on. Um, but if you have any questions about what you see in the video, um, please leave them in the comment section so I can then, you know, 
um, you know, <laughs> respond to them. Maybe make an additional video if I if I need to. Um, so we have uh, big incoming grass. Well, already incoming grass. So all I'm gonna do. I'm a little too close, but I want to make sure that I can hit everybody. So we will just pretty much rain down AOE madness on them. Try to get these things to uh, to proc and go again. Just to make sure everyone's getting hit. Um, so they're dead. Notice for the most part, I keep my 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 barrier on me as a sorcerer. You, you always want that. It's 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 basically free healing, free damage, essentially. Um, gives you a lot of time. So it looks like grass is clear. We don't really need to do anything with this. So we'll just we'll just. DPS down this sorcerer. We'll head back into mid, because um, this seems to be going pretty pretty easy. Um, nothing nothing crazy, nothing crazy going on. But I tell you, like whether I play ranked, I haven't played ranked in a couple seasons, but I will I will come back uh, for the next one. Um, you see a lot of people just go crazy with the oh I'm ranged, but I'm still gonna get in. And get into the fight like there's no reason to do that you take unnecessary damage and when you're playing ranked or when you're playing arenas and it's just a deathmatch situation you know that little bit of damage could decide whether or not you win or lose the the game because you weren't in the best positioning to to, to, to have your team win like it, it's it's as simple as that but not dying like no one's really focused me at all I've relatively been at, at 100% health this entire time outside of a couple other effects but are they all gonna go grass? Are they gonna go grass? I think they're gonna go grass. Yeah, they're definitely going grass. So let's see if we can get some kind of good fight happen here. Probably not, because I think I think this uh, this juggernaut's gonna be too focused on what's going on here. Oh, did that not? Did that not go off the way I wanted it to? Totally thought that went off. Obviously, you want to be you want to be in position to make plays. Like, no, I'm not at the max level uh, right now. Like, like the max, like not level, but the max distance. And I, I always say, like, try to be as far away as possible. Um, because you want to make people, you know, come to you if they want to kill you. Like, you don't want you don't want to be ranged, but then sitting dead mid now here is gonna it's gonna get a little tricky because i might have to head over there to stop you know cast but i shouldn't need to because i have an aoe so there should be no reason why i would need to be going down there to prevent the cap i can prevent the cap just as easily from here so it it just it serves me to just stay up here and get get the free damage and then help out when I can. Is there someone down here? Okay, I do, I do want to be greedy and, and do want to do want to get some damage out. So I'm just gonna follow this guy, and see see what he does. He's gonna try to run off and go to grass. I'm just gonna let him alone because there's someone else here. Um, oh no, nope, he came back. He came back. Okay, so we'll just head out of there because he was definitely focusing me a little bit. Um, he'll probably come back and do something else. I miss pop my polarity ship there. I should have waited. Now this guy's gonna be on me. Now this is this is something that I don't think a lot of people pay attention to. Like, sure, I was stunned there, and I didn't break. There was no reason for me to break. I wasn't being bursted down super quick. I wasn't in any immediate danger. And I think that's where a lot of people really mess up as ranged classes. They think that just because they're stunned, they need to break CC. There, there's, there's no reason to or break that stun. No one is going to be DPSing you that fast, especially in a regs. In ranked, you might have to uh, to save your life. One thing I, I think is so important for any PvP -er is you need to play your life. Um, if you know that there's a better chance of winning, a better chance of surviving just by you know staying alive and doing damage from afar, especially if you're ranged, obviously, then that is the play you need to make. Like, play your life, and you will be fine. Nothing else really matters. All right, so this is a relatively easy game. Um, I do love getting a good a good rank stomping uh, for relatively minimal work. Um, I'm gonna risk going uh, no not having no deaths here. So this is a healer, so I might as well just sit on her. 
um, just to get more damage, but as, a, as you can see, still super far back, no need to do anything. This Juggernaut's a tank, he's going to come after me a little bit. Um, notice I'm not going to break, I could break for fun, but he's not going to do enough damage to me to really warrant using it, so there's no need to. I can literally just kite and kite and kite him, but it will... And then he, he leaves to me here, so which is fine, like, but I can still, you know, force speed away. Like, he has so much work to do. Like, so much work to do. I can sit here and heal all day, and he's not gonna know what to do. Like, like now now, now he's running away. He's running back to the fight. Oh, is he, is he, gonna, is he gonna come back? No, he's not. So, that's essentially it, guys. Like, 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 follow this. Like, like, this is how you stay alive is ranged. And I was definitely, you know, blessed, you know, not being focused or anything like that, but, like, even when you are focused, you know... Be kiting, you know, those are the those are the things you want to make sure that you're doing. Um, so yeah, didn't do crazy amounts of damage, but hey, 28 and 0, two killing blows. Didn't get to solo anyone, but uh, that is essentially it, guys. I hope you enjoy this little commentary on how to stay alive uh, in PvP, and I will see you guys very soon for more content. Uh, please leave your feedback in the comments below, I really would appreciate it. We're trying to make better content for Star Wars The Old Republic, even though sometimes this game makes me cry. Um, but anyway, see you guys.